Hello everyone, I'm Brad Long, Partner and Deputy Chief Investment Officer at Fiducian Advisors. So in March of 2022, it's highly likely that the Fed is going to embark on a new campaign to reduce its accommodative stances. So that may mean raising interest rates, reducing its balance sheet through quantitative tightening, and this is likely to persist for some time given the current level of inflation. So reducing those accommodative stances has a material influence on many asset classes, notably fixed income. And at periods of time in history where policy is shifting or volatility is high, investors often look to the past to try to get a sense of what the future may bring. So to do this, we looked at the following graph since 1984, looking at seven different interest rate cycles. And as you can see, during these periods of time, there's various returns or changes in interest rates, but on average, broad fixed income indices returned a positive 3.9% across the last seven rate rising cycles. Now, many would look at this information and say, okay, perhaps the secular headwinds of fixed income aren't as great as we would presume them to be. In this instance, we actually think the analog of history is a pretty poor indicator of the future. And why is that? The, let's look through the prism of the present. Current yields are an incredibly important component to future fixed income returns. In fact, looking at this chart, we've mapped the 10-year treasury yield on top of the subsequent 10-year return for the Bloomberg Barclays Ag. And you can see that these two figures are very much interrelated to one another. In fact, they're 94% correlated. Now, what does that mean? Well, my best guess for my future return in my portfolio, fixed income portfolio, should start with the current yield. So let's take a look at history one more time, but let's add one additional component, the starting yield to worst. So across these last seven rate rising cycles, still the return is positive 3.9%, but the starting yield to worst across these cycles was 6.7%. That means that during rising interest rate cycles, when price performance is negative, higher current income and yield associated portfolios could overcome those negative returns from prices and help produce positive net returns. We do not enjoy the luxury of high current yields today in portfolios. And so we think this current environment we're in, additionally with potentially for higher inflation, means real returns, nominal returns, less inflation, are gonna be challenged within fixed income. Now, does that mean my fixed income portfolio should be removed or, or left for dead? Absolutely not. We think fixed income can play a critical role in diversification, given most investors can't bear the full brunt of market volatility on a day-to-day -day basis. We just have to have an honest assessment of what we think our fixed income can and should do for us in the future, rather than looking to a, what we think is a false precision of past as an analog for the future. Now, should you have any other questions around what the Fed is doing, rising interest rates, or potential ways to influence your portfolio to combat these future concerns, please look at our website or reach out to us. We're always happy to help. Thanks so much.